Jesus, you all are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. Thank you for joining me again on another session of prayer. In the name of Jesus, I want to thank God for you who is connecting, for all those of you who are always connecting and following. And I want to say that the Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. I want to thank the Lord God for your lives that may the Lord God continue to show himself mightily over your lives and all that concerns you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, I came with something very short to share with you, connecting with me today, and I pray that may he reach out to you through, may the Lord God reach out to you through this word that I'm about to share. Hallelujah. By the leading of the Holy Spirit, things will change. Hallelujah. Something big is coming. Why did I say something big is coming? Melissa, God bless you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I said something huge, something big is coming to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 61, it says that, Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayers. Psalm 61, verses 1. I'll read another verse to you. Now, this is you who has been going through so much and you have cried out to the Lord. Jake and Jazz, God bless you. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. You have cried out to the Lord. Mama Robinson, you're welcome. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You have cried out to the Lord according to his word. That hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. This could be you that has gone through so much. And I've, I'll give you the answer to this. If you are that person that has been praying and trusting God, if you are that person that has been praying and crying unto the Lord, Caroline Kelly, God bless you, you're welcome. You have been praying and crying out to the Lord that Jesus, hear my cry, oh God. This is the word of the Lord. I'm just reading it out to you. If you are in that category of people, or if you are among that those people that are making such prayers to the Lord, I came with good news for you today. I came with a reassuring word for you this day that the Lord God says something huge is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Something huge is coming your way in the name of Jesus. Because when you read from verses 5 of that same Psalm 61, the Bible says, For you, O God, have heard my vows. Hallelujah. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Hallelujah. That will be your story. That will be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God has heard your cry. Vows talks of sacrifices. Vows talks of commitment. You have committed yourself to that extent you have committed yourself so much to a particular cause to a particular thing and yet nothing nothing seemed to be showing forth and you cried out to the lord according to the word of the lord that oh god hear my cry hear my cry hear my cry attend to my prayers the lord god has brought an answer for you today in the name of jesus christ he has heard your cry he has seen your vows according to verses five. Oh god has heard my vows your commitment your sacrifices your tears that you have been pouring out and he is giving you the reward of those that fear him in the name of jesus the bible says for our lord god is is a God who, who is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. There is no one that can cry out to the Lord to this extent that does not diligently seek him. You have sought the Lord and the Lord God has brought an answer over that prayer, has brought an answer over that situation, has brought a solution over that problem in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want Want you to have this understanding before we pray for a few minutes that you have cried out to the Lord, you have cried out, you have poured out your heart. Maybe you are among this kind of people that have poured out their hearts to God, they have cried out to the Lord, and the Lord God has answered you. 
in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, for you, O God, has heard my vows. You have seen my vows and you will give me the heritage of those who fear me. Vows, like I said, it talks of commitment. It talks of sacrifices, a lot of things that you may have done, a lot of things that you may have put in in certain places consciously and unconsciously a lot of sacrifices that you have you may have given into certain places into certain things you have put in your all your commitment knowingly and unknowingly the lord god is about to reward you for those commitments the lord god is about to reward you for those sacrifices the lord god is about to reward you for everything that you have done that covenant that the lord god has made with you sometimes we even go into covenant with the Lord without knowing based on our sacrifices based on our commitment you may just decide maybe you are among some people who just decided I, I would I will do this for the Lord I will keep doing this for the Lord and you do not know that that was a covenant you were making with the Lord the Lord God is about to reward you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus your great reward is coming and you shall not miss out from it in the mighty name of Jesus. Something huge is coming your way for all your sacrifices, for all your perseverance, long suffering, endurance, persistence. God is about to reward you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. God is about to reward someone greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. This is what I brought for you today so that as we pray, you have this understanding that God has heard my prayer. God has heard my cry and he is giving me the reward of those who fear him. He has heard, he has seen them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and all that concerns you. I pray for your life. You that you have been discouraged because you have put in your effort. You have put in your work. You have put in your strength. You have put in your money, but you haven't seen anything. The Lord God God has seen those sacrifices. The Lord God has seen those commitments. The Lord God has seen everything that you did from a place of love. And he's about to reward you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's about to reward you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God is about to reward you greatly. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not cry anymore because your reward is here. You will not weep anymore. Your reward is here. And when I'm talking about reward, the reward that the Lord God has to give you is not just any kind of reward. It's not just any kind of thing. Hallelujah. He's doing, he is about to do great and mighty things in your life, in the name of Jesus, things that will become visible to all men. Hallelujah. It is not going to be, to be hidden. Maybe when you were making your sacrifices, a lot of people did not see you. When you were making your sacrifices, um, Rosemary, God bless you, you're welcome. When you were making your sacrifices, you were doing it in the secret and you kept trusting the Lord. One thing about the blessings of the Lord is when the Lord God wants to bless you, he makes it become so evident. He makes it become so visible before all men. Hallelujah. That is one good thing with Jesus Christ. You could be making your commitment. You could be making your sacrifices you could be making your prayers you be you could be crying in the secret and no one seems to understand what is happening in your life at a particular point in time but when it's time for your reward people will come and celebrate with you because God rewards you he blesses you to that extent where it becomes visible to all men in the mighty name of Jesus for his glory your blessing is coming something huge is coming that is why i said something huge is coming the first time i came across this scripture i said oh jesus thank you when i came across psalm 61 i read all of it and i was like oh jesus thank you i personalized some part of it and if you read verse 6 it says i will prolong the king's life the king's years 
as many generations. Hallelujah. I will prolong. Then I decided to personalize it. And I said to myself that Jesus, my children, my life is preserved because you have said it. Hallelujah. I want you to take upon yourself, personalize these things. That Lord God, my vows, it could be your commitment, your tears, your prayers. You have been committed to a particular thing, knowingly or unknowingly. The Lord God is about to bring your great reward. Penny Milan, God bless you. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. The Lord God is about to bring your great reward. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is time for you to celebrate. Your huge reward is coming. Something huge is coming to you. Anything that you are trusting God for in this season, I don't know that expectation, that specific thing that you want God to do for you. I understand that a lot of times you may have a lot of things that we are trusting God for, but there is that specific thing that you want God to do for you, or there is that specific thing that you want the Lord to begin with. The Lord God, I just want you to open your heart, and I just want you to mention it and say, God, start with this thing among the others. I want you to start with this thing, because your word says you have heard my cry you have seen my vows and you will give me the reward the inheritance some some ver some some versions say the reward your great reward is coming in a huge style in the mighty name of Jesus so we are going to be praying that nothing shall deprive you from partaking of this thing that the Lord God has said nothing shall deprive you from partaking for being a partaker of all that the Lord God has declared over your life in this season in the name of Jesus. That big thing that is meant for you, that huge thing that is meant for you, nothing shall stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy shall not stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because you made your prayers, your sacrifices, your vows, your commitments. The enemy was not there. Instead, while you were doing all those things, the enemy was busy tempting you. The enemy was busy mocking you now that it is time for your blessing the enemy has no role to play in the name of Jesus so anything that they have fashioned against you to stop you from fully enjoying that which the Lord God has said that he wants to bless you with in this season let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus Jesus may God bless you you're welcome in the name of Jesus Melissa, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So everything, every commitment, you know, a lot of times we make sacrifices, we make commitments in the secret, and a lot of people don't know what we are going through. A lot of people don't know what we are putting on ground because we are trusting God with everything in us that we are going to see something at the end. Sometimes we even do those things without expecting anything from the Lord. Hallelujah. But our God is a God that his glory he will not share with any man when he decides on your case hallelujah he ensures that he meets you at the point of your need and nothing shall stop you and as a and at a point in time things start falling into place pleasant places for you because of everything that you have gone through your sacrifices hallelujah sometimes we go through a lot of problems and it looks like there is nothing Jesus may God bless you you're welcome hallelujah you are welcome in the name of Jesus you go through a lot of things and it looks like ah, uh, no one has your time no one cares you have been abandoned you have been rejected you have been left on your own hallelujah but one thing that I want you to understand is our God cannot forsake his own in the name of Jesus. The Lord God cannot forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. That is what the Bible says when, when Moses was about to hand over everything about the Israelites to, to Joshua. And Moses said, according to the word of the Lord, that Joshua should go ahead. He should not be afraid. So it is time for your great reward. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid. We are going to be 
praying and counseling, every agenda of the enemy targeted at your blessing, anything that has meant or is determined to stop you from fully enjoying that which God says you should enjoy in this season. It shall not stand, it shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be praying for you for a few minutes. That thing that you have in your heart, that personal thing that you have in your heart, in the name of Jesus, begin to pour it out, begin to pour it out, begin to pour it out, begin to pour it out to God, begin to pour it out to God. The Bible says he has heard your cry, pour it out. I pray for you. Uh, I pray for that situation, uh, that thing that has been making you to shed tears uh, in the secret. Uh, I pray for you uh, and all that concerns you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, whatever the enemy has planned uh, and targeted against your breakthrough, against your great reward in this season, uh, it shall not prosper, it shall not stand uh, because the Bible says uh, he has heard your cry. The Lord God has heard your cry. The Lord God cannot hear your cry and assures you of his word, then goes ahead and forsake you. In the name of Jesus, uh, you will not forsake you. In the name of Jesus, uh, whatsoever the enemy has targeted against your blessings, uh, against your reward. Malandi Kalida Brosco Pranta Rababashanda, your health is renewed. In the name of Jesus, your health is renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. Kabasu preketele de broshka, rama sombre keneme shanda, rabashada rosku prekete. I speak breakthrough over your finances in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been trusting God for new openings in your business. I pray for open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall stop that which God has said that will manifest in your life in this season. Your great reward is coming. Something huge is coming and the enemy shall not stop it. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, it is coming to you and receive it with gladness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How many of you feel relieved? How many of you feel relieved? Because I feel something in my spirit. I feel, I feel the joy of the Lord within me. I feel like I am walking in, into the manifestations of my blessings already in the name of Jesus. God bless you or God increase you or thank you for your time. I love you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, if you're new here, like and subscribe to this channel. I believe by the grace of God will be a blessing to you in Jesus' name. And if you like me to pray with you after now, do well to write me on my about. And those of you who were asking me on how you can be a blessing to this channel, you can be a blessing to this ministry, you can also write me on my about, then I'll tell you how to go about it. Hallelujah. You want to connect with a seed or whatsoever you are led to. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord God bless you. The Lord God increase you. I love you all. See you tomorrow by the grace of God. You all are special. Amen. Thank you so much.